YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am here to make a quick little video that I have actually, I was searching the internet for it and I couldn't find the exact answer to my questions. So I'm here to bring the answers. There's a couple of videos about these highlighters on YouTube, but they're not answering the questions I want them to answer. So even in my own favorites, and you might have noticed in a lot of people's favorites, the Wet n Wild Gothographic Moon Tears highlighter was a groundbreaking release this year on Wet n Wild's part. It was a limited edition release of a highlighter that is just the most stunning and beautiful highlighter. It has a very wet effect on the face. There's honestly nothing I've come across like this. And for around six dollars, how how they do it, I don't know. Wet n Wild is just a stunner, okay? This was so loved and sought after that when it was gone, it was gone and everybody was super duper upset because it was just so beautiful and it kind of sold out super fast and people really wanted to get their hands on it and Wet n Wild didn't bring it back. Yeah, I personally kind of like that because I felt like special because I have it, but whatever. Then they released a, another, um, another highlighter in their, like the astrology collection that they did. And it was in Britain and the Stars. It was the Zodiac collection because this year is all about Zodiacs apparently. All I think of is the Zodiac killer. This was in Britain and the Stars and this was a pinkier, silverier, a pinky silver highlight with some loose glitters in it. And I thought that this was really pretty. I actually had to get this in Montana. I couldn't find it anywhere, but I believe this is still available online. It didn't have quite the crazy hype that Moon Tears did, but it is still a beautiful highlight. And these were both limited edition. Listening to their consumers, like most companies don't do, they actually released a permanent, I believe it's permanent collection of highlighters. You can find, I got found mine at CVS and I got the two colors in I'm So Lit and You Glow Girl. Um, there was two other shades, they were much more bronze. They would have never matched my skin tone in a million years, not even if I tanned out the wazoo, but I'm happy that there are darker shades for darker skin tones out there now that get to experience this wet highlight goodness. Now, a huge, huge factor a lot of people wanted to know is, is I'm So Lit an exact dupe of Moon Tears? And I'm gonna show you guys some swatches and show you as we go through it. I'm gonna show you these dry first. Moon Tears is a stunning highlight. You can see here, it's a slight champagne goldy silver tone. That's like three different highlight tones that people covet. This is just the perfect combination to me of all three of those. Then when you swatch I'm So Lit next to it, it looks super similar, especially dry. So I would say that if you missed out on Moon Tears, get I'm So Lit. It is basically almost an exact dupe. The two that I thought would be similar, that look similar in the pan is Written in the Stars. Written in the Stars is this silvery pink goodness. There are some loose glitters in this, so if you're not a fan of loose glitters, I would steer clear, but it is stunning. And then the one I thought that was gonna match it the most is You Glow Girl, but as you can see here, You Glow Girl is actually much more pinky than Written in the Stars. This is a pink highlight right here. Very flattering on the skin, not very super pink on the skin, but it is so much pinker than I thought it was. It almost has a peachy undertone to it. Now I'm gonna show you something else. I'm gonna show you these swatches wet. So they look wet, but if you wet them with a setting spray or a brush, this is where you can really kind of tell the very, very, very subtle difference between Moon Tears and I'm So Lit. So here you can see the beautiful goodness that is Moon Tears. And that right next to it is I'm So Lit. And when they're wet is really when you can tell ever so slightly that Moon Tears has a slightly different undertone. So slight that the naked, that the, your eye would never be able to tell. The other two, Written in the Stars and You Glow Girl, nothing alike. Completely different highlighters, completely different colors, completely different undertones. Now guys, those are my comparisons of these highlighters. I think that these are, for $6.99, they are such amazing products. You can get these online right now. I got mine at CVS. You can't get the Moon Tears anymore, but like I said, I'm so it is basically Moon Tears. So, I hope this was helpful to you in your search for getting the long lost Moon Tears and the new releases of the highlighters from Wet n Wild. And I hope you have a fantastic evening and you just enjoy your week, okay? Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye. You can, you can